Hello and welcome to the Players' Choice Awards 2021. I'm your host, Johnny Boy, and I can't wait to get into this. We have 25, well, actually, we don't have, we've had 25 pro players uh, send in their nominations, send, uh, submit their favorite choices for 18 different categories, and it all comes down to this, uh, where we're going to reveal everything uh, tonight. Uh, production, I mean, yeah, we've got a... We've got a picture and I put a suit on. <laughs> it took like five minutes. What we've done uh, is we've sent um, we've sent a questionnaire, we've sent a Google form thing to 25 different pros. These are the pros. I've got to turn off my camera for this or else it's going to cover um, some of the names. Let me see if I can show this to you guys. So these are the pros. I did tweet this. Uh, these, these are the pros who nominated their... Um, well, their choices for every single category that we're going to have tonight. Um, now, I don't have a list on screen of all of the categories, but I'll go through them right now for you while you guys read the players. There's eight NA players, eight EU players. Shad is an NA player for the purposes of this. Uh, two Sam players, two OCE players, two Mina players, two APAC players, and then Snowy from South Africa as well. So we've got a worldwide, a global panel, 25 pro player panel. The categories for today are Player of the Year, Rookie of the Year, New Region Player of the Year, so someone who's not EUNA, um, and then Goal of the Year, who scored it, and then a prediction, who will be the best player of 2022. We also have Pro Player Personality of the Year, Pro Player Content Creator of the Year, uh, Best Trash Talk of the Year, Best Sportsmanship, Fastest Player, mechanic, Most Mechanical Player, Smartest Player, Most Entertaining Player, Most Annoying Player to Play Against, Most Underrated Player, Best Shooter, Best Passer, and best goalkeepers. We've got 18 categories to go through. Yeah, if you've got any problems with who, won, who wins the awards, don't complain to me, complain to them. Well, actually, just don't complain to them either. It's their opinions, for goodness sake. Like, they can pick whoever they want. But um, yeah, but the, the motivation for this, I've been seeing a lot of people, uh, including myself, you know, talking about uh, who they think the best players were from last year and who the, um, you know, best rookies, all these categories. I've seen them all spoken about for the past year. Thank you, Thomas. I, I appreciate that. Um, and, you know, uh, I've not really heard too many of the players, the actual pros, give their own opinions on these awards or these categories. And I think the pros' opinions are probably the best and probably the most accurate, probably the most important when you're talking about these uh, these categories, when you're talking about all of these uh, you know, things like best player of the year. Um, so that's that's why I wanted to know, what do the pros think? But yeah, well, we'll just go ahead and start off with player of the year. Why not? Let's just go, let's just go right into it. Let's just get into player of the year. In order for someone to be in the nominations, just to add the hype a little bit here, uh, they need to have at least two nominations. So two other pro players have to have nominated them. With that being said, I would like to reveal the uh, list of nominations, the list of players who were nominated by more than one pro for the player of the year category. Here they are. The nominations are Monkey Moon. He's the only player who's nominated more than once. In fact, he was nominated 21 times. No one else was nominated more than once. Four other players were nominated once. Monkey Moon, in fact, was nominated four times with the spelling Monkey Moon using Z uh, O's and uppercase M's and a space. Eight times using the correct spelling, uppercase M's, zeros instead of O's and a space. And also twice with the spelling Monkey Moon with zeros instead of the O's and no space. And he was also nominated one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other different variations of his name. So he's been nominated with 10 different spellings. So yeah, Monkey Moon is the player of the year. <laughs> everybody nominated him. Well, everybody except four people nominated him. Um, so <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll show you how his name is spelled for all the, pl for all the players who couldn't Spell his name. Here, Here's how you do spell his name with the correct. You use zeros instead of the O's and there is a space. That is how he spells his name. Most, actually, this was the version of his name that was nominated the most. So at least not even half of the pros who nominated him got it right, but eight of them did. So well done to them. Uh, who else is nominated? Nobody. Nobody else is nominated. I just, I just told you, if, no, if somebody gets less than two nominations, I'm not telling you about it. It doesn't count. Doesn't count. You need two to be no, to be counted as a nomination. However, I will tell you guys, 
This was the only one. This was the only category where no one else was nominated more than once. <laughs> no one else. Monkey Moon got 21. It was the most one-sided category out of all 18 awards that we have for today. So uh, there you go. Congrats, Monkey Moon. Player of the Year. Everybody knew that, though, already. Um, expo <laughs> I'm not going to expose. <laughs> I might expose what some of the individual votes were, but not this one. <laughs> we'll leave that one as is. Okay. What do you guys want to do next? Should we do Rookie of the Year? Should we do Rookie of the Year? I'll just I'll just edit that. <laughs> there we go, Rookie. Rookie of the Year. Shall we do that one? Th well, the way that I define a rookie for 2021 is somebody who didn't play RLCS before 2021. So players who played in RLCS X in Fall Split or the start of the Winter Split do not count as rookies, even though they've never played in RLCS LAN. They're still not a 2021 rookie. So for the 2021 um, Players' Choice Awards, only players who didn't play RLCS in the year 2021, or, or who didn't, uh, who only played RLCS in the year 2021, uh, were included, and that did limit the nominations um, quite a lot. In fact, it limited it to two players. Two players were nominated for this award, um, and they received a lot of nominations between them. Those nominations are Dries and Seiko. Everybody probably uh, could have guessed that. Because I think these two, the first two, although they're two of the most important awards of the year, uh, they are definitely two of the most predictable. Um, they're, they're the only players who received more than two. People are saying no TRK, no Ahmad. Well, those guys actually only played for the second half of the year. So players like Dries, who played at the very start of the year, probably getting a little bit more attention than those guys. Um, and uh, yeah, Seiko had a pretty pop-off year, but yeah, we, we might be seeing some Middle East representation later on. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but that being said, let's get back to this one, the one in question, and uh, reveal the winner, as soon as I can format this correctly. The winner of Rookie of the Year 2021. By quite a fair margin, he did, in fact, receive, hold on, let me count, 17 nominations. Not as much as Monkey Moon. Monkey Moon got 21 nominations for Player of the Year. This guy got 17 nominations for Rookie of the Year. And of course, it's the one and only Seiko. But shout out to Dries, who also got nominated multiple times. So, uh, he, he deserved, that's why we're putting him in the nomination. Want to want to also give a little bit of credit to those players as well. Um, Relating Wave says, I wasn't allowed to vote for him at Johnny Boy. That's true. That is also worth mentioning. Thank you, Relating Wave. Relating Wave, who is one of the pros, who is on the panel, uh, for these awards was not allowed to nominate Seiko because he is Seiko's teammate. I uh, told players you're not allowed to nominate yourself for any of the categories. And you're not allowed to nominate anyone that you teamed with at any point during 2021. So um, there you go. That's that's who got uh, who got nominated. Only <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Only EU voters. There's there's only e eight EU players who I asked, and Seiko got 17 nominations. That's more than double. <laughs> the nominations that there were EU players, so I don't know. I don't know how you guys came to that conclusion. Very quickly before I continue, thank you to uh, GM Guest ninety four for the fourteen month prime. Welcome back, my friend. I appreciate that. Uh, let's continue. Let's go into another one. This one might need a little bit of explanation. All right, no, not really. Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. New region player of the year. New region player of the year. Now the only players who were um, you know, who I had to decide, will I let people vote for these players or not? Or of course, complexity, because complexity, that's formerly true neutral, Shad, Ray's Bull, and AJG. They started off the year in South America. They finished the year in North America. So do they count as new region players for this category? I said, I said, yes, they do. You're allowed to vote for any player who has played RLCS outside of NA or EU. Well, NA and EU, um, any or you, I should say, um, at any part of 2021. If you've only played RLCS in EU or in A in 2021, you're not a new region player. But if you've played outside of uh, those regions, so basically complexity, you do count. So players knew that. They were allowed to vote for them. That was very obvious. That was made very clear to them. Um, so yeah, just had to clarify that before we reveal the nominations. So, there, the nominations, there are actually six nominations, six players were nominated more than once for this category, New Region Player of the Year. And they are Ahmad, Amphis, Raze Bullshad, TRK, and Yannick Senzi. 
And a few other players get nominated once, but the list would be endless if I wrote them. So I'm just going to keep it to this, so we can actually fit it on the screen. These are your mul these are your multiple nominations, um, and out of them, one player received nine nominations for himself. Nine nominations, winning the category by a fair margin, N uh, not as one-sided as the Monkey Moon and Seiko player of the year, rookie of the year, but still a clear winner here. A clear winner in new region player of the year, according to the pro players themselves. And that player is, as soon as I can write in his name and center the text, TRK511. Congratulations, TRK. You are the new region player of the year. You have beaten out Several other in incredibly impressive new region players. I mean, that category was stacked with Ahmad, Amphis, Razebull, Shad, and Yan in it. Ridiculous category. And TRK comes out on top. Why does TRK come out on top? Because the pro players voted for him. That's why. The pro players think that he's the most impressive new region player. Now, this is it's actually quite interesting because I think if you asked the fans to vote on new region player of the year... I don't think the fans would have voted for TRK. Even though, well, I think a lot of fans would have voted for TRK, but I don't think the majority of them would have voted TRK. I don't think that the majority of maybe even casters would have voted for TRK. I want to say that I would, though. I definitely would have myself. Um, because I think he was the most the most impressive player from a new region this year. But uh, the players clearly thought overall he was the most impressive. And I think it shows that there's more to the game than flashy goals. There's more to the game than... Um, you know, fancy mechanics and offense. TRK, he does a lot. He does a lot, and he did a lot at LAN especially, so he, he got the most votes. He got the most votes by far. Okay. Let's continue. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, I've, uh, I've got an idea. So we're going to do goal of the year next, but I have to explain how this one works as well. So goal of the year, the way this is going to be awarded is um or, or even the way that nominations are going to be um allowed for this is just purely by the name of the player so if a player uh you know scored a good goal in one event and then another good goal in a different event and both of those goals were nominated as goal of the year that that would count as two nominations for the same player so that player would be nominated for this category do you understand what i mean chat does that make sense so we're allowing uh, players to be included in the list of nominations if two different goals that were scored by them were uh, both nominated. Otherwise, this list would be a lot shorter because I think there were four players, no, three players were nominated for different goals that they've scored. I don't think that should be punished by removing their nomination as, as, as a singular nomination. Um, anyway, here is the list of nominations for goal of the year, these players received two or more nominations for best goal of 2021 by the 25 pro player panel. Ahmad, first killer, Abjack, Alpha 54, Justin, and Mark by eight. And I should probably fill in apparently Jack's name because he's going to be furious if I don't. He's, he's trying to get everybody to put apparently in front of their name, of course. Um... But just for reference, apparently Jack's goals that were nominated, I think they were both uh, the, uh, how, what do you even call it, quintuple touch goal that he scored. Uh, Mark by eight's pinch was nominated uh, twice. Justin was nominated for two completely different goals that he scored. I think the 1v3 dribble and uh, I can't remember the other one. I, I've got it listed here somewhere if, I, if you guys want to know. Um, where is it? Where's the other Justin goal that got nominated? Oh yeah, the zero second goal in the grand finals versus G2, game six. Yeah, that one. Um, uh, Alpha was nominated for, I think, two different goals as well. He was nominated once for the pre-flip corner rebound. Pre-flip corner ceiling shot double touch. I know that sounds like a lot, but it was a crazy goal. And he was also nominated for the grand finals double tap in the championships. And of course, Ahmad was nominated for his zero second goal and also nominated as well for the corner rebound that he scored in Rettles tournament. You guys probably remember that one. Um, and I think that, that was all, those were all the goals that were nominated, I think. First killer was nominated for the, the crazy upside down redirect. That one. 
So all, all ridiculous goals. All really, really insane goals across the board. However, one player uh, did receive a whole lot learn <laughs> more nominations than anyone else. He was nominated 12 times in total. And one of his goals in particular was nominated uh, more than anyone else's. And this one I think should be pretty obvious. It's Ahmad. It's the zero second goal. Why? How, what other goal could it possibly be? Given the circumstances, given the, uh, the the history of that goal, the type of shot that it was, and uh, yeah, the fact that it was their first series of, of Middle East on land, yeah, it was always going to be the Ahmad goal, but I think it, des it deserves to be the, the goal of the year as well. This would be my pick, and I think so far I would agree with all four of these categories. Not that it matters what I think, and not that it matters what you guys think, but so far I would have definitely put... In fact, I could say ahead of time that I agree with literally every single response that the pros have given. I think the pros have given some great answers here to every single category. So uh, yeah, I, I totally agree with this. Ahmad, goal of the year. Uh, clip. Oh, how am I going to do that? Hold it. You guys, you guys know the goal. I don't need to show you the clip. <laughs> you guys already know. Why are you asking for the clip as if anybody doesn't know? Fine. I'll find the clip. Hold on. Uh, you guys already know what it is though. Why are you even asking? <laughs> oh, how do I even find this though? Come on. Uh. Oh no. It was more than a month ago. I, I don't know where it is, boys. I don't know where it is. Sends it halfway. Chicago sends it over the halfway, but sends those waiting for him. It's back and forth. It's both teams' posture for OT. G2 will quite happily take it. Sandrock, they don't want to go there. Ahmad! Sends another redirect straight into the G2 net. Three. Oh! Anticipate no more. Sandrock Gaming have arrived. Middle Eastern Rocket League has arrived. I asked the panel to predict who will be the best player in 2022. So I know these are the 2021 awards, but I guess this is sort of the potential. Who has the most potential award? Who, who will be the best player in 2022? Um, so I guess I'll just write that down. But yeah, it's, it, this is a prediction, of course. It, uh, unless anybody, uh, unless anyone can see the future. Um, but yeah, only I, I was surprised by this. Only four players received nominations for this. Only four players were nominated more than once for this category. Only four. I thought there would be more. For this one but everybody all of all the pros in the panel were kind of gravitating towards the same names and these are those names first killer jorias monkey moon and justin two eu players two na players these are the players who the panel think are going to be the best in 2022 it's time to reveal who the panel predicted to be the best player in the coming year in 2022 although one of the voters did Specify that he only votes for this player if this player grinds. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was quite funny. One, one of the players, uh, one of the four nominations, uh, one of the nominations said, this guy, if he grinds, I, I was thinking, well, <laughs> I suppose that counts. Uh, I suppose he's made it clear who, who he's voting for here. But I do want to say that even without that vote, that kind of half chalked vote, this player still would have received the, the majority of the votes. And that player is Jorias. He was nominated seven times uh, to be the best player in 2022. Well, six times and also once uh, with the stipulation that only if he grinds. So hopefully Jorias grinds and maybe he could be the best player in 2022. You bet it was Rettles with a half vote. Do you guys want to know who it was with a half vote? Hold on. Let me find out who it was. Shall I reveal? Shall I leak that? Shall I leak who it was? It was Max Yu. It was Max Yu from Apex South. He said, Jory is if he grinds. <laughs> Max Yu does not like players who don't, who don't practice Rocket League. But he's, been, he's been exposed. <laughs> I, loved, I loved when there was a few like uh, additional like, you know, add-ons, clauses. Uh, quite a few people did that for their, <laughs> for their votes. Shall we continue? Uh, next one. Wait, I've lost it. Where was I? Um, ah, yeah. Personality of the year. Pro player personality of the year. Not sure if this is going to fit on the screen. Oh, it is comfortably. Nice. All right. 
For personality of the year, a couple, of, uh, quite a few pros actually asked me, what does this mean? Which would indicate that Rocket League pro players, in many cases, don't have personalities. But that's a very harsh view. I don't take that view myself. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, I answered the question anyway. Uh, you know, quite a few pros on the panel wanted to know, what does it mean? What is personality of the year? So I, I said to them, it's, uh, you know, stuff outside of the game. If player of the year is in-game, personality of the year is outside of the game. It can be anything. Contributions to a community. It can be uh, social media presence. It can be uh, on camera presence. Anything. Anything outside the game counts as personality of the year. So uh, that, is, that is what the players uh, have voted for here. And there were six different players. Six different players who received more than one nomination for this. So quite a stacked category as well. And here are the nominations for Personality of the Year. Arsenal, Apparently Jack, CJCJ, Extra, Garrett G, and Turbo Pulsa. A few other players were nominated, but not more than once. These are the ones who received more than one. So this was the closest category out of all the ones so far. Um, player of the Year, Rookie of the Year, Goal of the Year were all complete landslides. New Region Player of the Year was also a fairly comfortable win for TRK. Uh, he, he received four nominations more than second place. But for Personality of the Year, one of these players has received one additional nomination over second place. And in second, there was actually two players who, who received one less nomination than him. So this was the closest category so far. Uh, extremely close. Only one vote in it. Um, but yeah, the winner will be a popular choice, I think. And just like every other result that I'm revealing today, I completely agree. It's CJ CJ, the personality of the year 2021. He's done it. Stacked category, but he came out on top. So well done, CJ. In fact, he might even be awake to, to see this. But bear in mind, CJ CJ was on the panel. He was one of the people voting um, for personality of the year. In fact, these were the nominations for personality of the year. Appjack was on the panel. CJ was on the panel. Extra was also on the panel. So is Turbo, so is Garrett. Five of these people who are nominations for Player of the Year were actually on the panel themselves, and you cannot vote for yourself. So nobody voted for themselves. They were also some of the fastest people to submit the responses, so I like these people. People who are nominated for Personality of the Year. Very, very responsive, uh, you know, individuals. Five of the nominations for Personality of the Year were on the panel, and they all voted for each other. Isn't that cute? They all voted for each other. I, yeah, I, Abjack did kept make, he kept making mistakes. And no, I wasn't even Abjack making mistakes. I, <laughs> I added, I added categories. Abjack responded so fast. I was like, wait, I've added categories to it again. Okay, this is a big one. This is a big one. Content creator of the year. Now the only rule for this one was that the nominations needed to be starters or active substitutes for RLCS teams. Sorry, Musty. But we, you know, <laughs> we can't have inactive sub content creators winning the pro player choice awards. It, I don't know, it didn't make sense. But yeah, uh, somebody tried to nominate Musty. I was like, you have to nominate an active sub, bro. Sorry. <laughs> Read the small print. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. But Musty was, he, 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 he would have been nominated for sure. He's got good, good content. However, the four nominations who. Uh, received more than one nomination from their peers. Two of them we just had in the previous category are apparently Jack, Arsenal, KDOP, and Squishy. So, of course, Squishy for YouTube and Twitch. Actually, I think all of these guys for YouTube and Twitch these days. Because I was going to say mostly Abjack, for, or Abjack and Arsenal for YouTube, but they both do uh, Twitch as well. And then KDOP and Squishy are kind of more Twitch people, but I think even KDOP's got a big YouTube channel now. So yeah, they're all extremely active on every platform and they all uh, receive multiple nominations. Oh, isn't this cute? Oh yeah, I remember this. Oh, this is a, this is a, a great outcome. <laughs> so, for the first time in Rocket League Player's Choice Awards history, we have a tie. We have a joint winner. Ladies and gentlemen, isn't that cute? They both win. They both 
received seven nominations, which put them as a clear, well, as clear front runners. The two pros who were voted as the best content creators of 2021 were and are Abjack and Arsenal. Come on down. They're not actually coming. We're, we're alone here. But congratulations, Abjack and Arsenal, for winning Content Creator of the Year. Two content creators who completely took 2021 by storm. k and Squishy, the other nominees, were um, already extremely established before this year. But these guys absolutely blew up. They popped off in 2021. And they, I think they fully deserve this. So well done to them. Um, and well done to everyone who voted for them. Great choices. Let's move on to... <laughs> trash talk of the year yes this is a real category i'm not making this up <laughs> i did i did in fact get this uh as a category and <laughs> yep uh it was one of the categories where there were less nominations in fact only three in only three pros received more than one nomination and those players are Archie, Turbo Pulsa, and Rettles, of course. These are your nominations for the Pro Players Choice Awards Trash Talker of the Year. Um, however, one of them completely dominated this category with 16 nominations. 16 nominations. One of the most one-sided categories. Everybody's agreeing. Everybody's in agreement. This guy is the Trash Talker of the Year. And you don't get any points for knowing who that is. Of course, it's the one and only Rettles. Congratulations, you're the Trash Talker of the Year. Um, now, <laughs> it is worth mentioning that one of the other nominations, or one of the other uh, nominees for this category, Turbo Pulsa, did in fact nominate Rettles as the Trash Talker of the Year. In his nomination of Rettles, he actually talked trash. Turbo Pulsa, he didn't submit simply the name Rettles, for his uh, nomination, for his submission, Turbo, res Turbo responded, probably Rettles, but he can't qualify for majors. Turbo, what are you doing? Why are you writing that in, in, a, in a Google form? <laughs> the pr private Google form, what is going on? Why are you... <laughs> so yeah, Rettles dominated the category, but Turbo did in fact talk trash <laughs> in his response. Which is very impressive. <laughs> very impressive. You'll love to see it. Oh yeah, of course. From Trash Talk of the Year to Sportsmanship of the Year. We're, we're going to do a 180 and see who wins this one. The other, uh, who wins on the other side. Sportsmanship of the Year. I think this one might surprise people because chat is all spamming one name that didn't get nominated. Only two players receive nominations. Well, received more than one nomination for this. Only two players. It is one of the most uh, quiet categories. Quite a few players were nominated once, but that doesn't count. If you, you need two nominations to be a nom to count as a nomination. And uh, these are the two players who were nominated more than once. Garrett G and Metzenaris. So according to the players, the opponents or the, you know, well, it had to be opponents. You can't vote for teammates. The players with the best sportsmanship of 2021 were Garrett G and Metzenaris. Garrett and Metzenaris, two legends of the scene, two um, incredibly, incredibly ni uh, nice guys and incredibly great sportsmen. But the winner with, let me check, 12 nominations. So running away with this category, another one that's just completely dominated. It's Garrett G, Garrett Gordon, the sportsmanship of the year 2021. Congratulations to you. But Garrett dissed first color. Yeah, well, he did this first color, but he also, I think, uh, you know, remedied that situation. So I guess that is why people think he's a great sportsman. This is not, this is all, I didn't have any input in this. I'm going to keep saying it. I had no input on these. I didn't get a vote here. I didn't vote. I am simply bringing you guys the results. These are uh, the players who are voted by the, uh, the pro player panel. I'm going to see if this next one actually fits on the screen. It does. Fastest player of the year. Fastest player of the year. The fa speed was talked about a lot at the start of 2021. And 
one player who, you know, always came up in the discussion of speed, um, he was almost synonymous with speed, was, of course, Ahmad. And, well, Speed himself, the player who is named Speed. Uh, but Ahmad was mentioned a lot in the Speed conversations by the community, by myself, by, uh, you know, other casters as well. But who do the players think? I, who do the players think is a... I should probably remove the um, the Garrett G there. Because, sorry, Garrett, uh, Garrett did not win this one. <laughs> it's a spoiler for you, but anyway. Who do the players think? is the fastest player of 2021. Uh, bear in mind that the majority of the panel have had a chance to play against um, pretty much everyone who's being nominated for these awards. And those who haven't, um, have got, you know, the ability to watch as well. So this one, uh, yeah, this one interested me a lot. I wanted to know what do the players think. So first, the nominations. These are the players who received, again, two or more nominations from the panel. Ahmad, Azrael, Chicago, First Killer, and Monkey Moon. So Ahmad did get in there. He was nominated. But so were some other fast players. Azrael, Chicago, First Killer, and Monkey Moon. Uh, that is... That's the list. Those are the players who are nominated more than... Uh, more than Well, twice or more. Why are you writing Chicago and Megalol? He's fast. <laughs> Chicago's fast. Do the players agree, now that we've had a whole year of... Talking about speed and memeing about speed and uh, now uh, the first international LAN in two years. Did the pro player panel agree with uh, the memes? Did they agree with uh, the online community that Ahmad was the fastest player or did Astral Chicago, First Killer or Monkey Moon take it? Yeah, it was, it was a close one. I'll tell you this. There was only one vote in it. There was only one vote in it here. The second place was only one vote behind the player who won. So it was very close. The pros think this is a close one. The panel, very, uh, you know, very, very close on this. But the winner was the player who was discussed as the fastest, Ahmad, voted by his peers as the fastest player of the year, confirming what we all believed, confirming what we all knew to be true. He wins goal of the year. He wins fastest player of the year. He is a two-time player choice 2021 award winner. Ahmad from the Middle East region. The first two-time winner. So far. Johnny peer pressuring other panel. I wasn't on the panel. I want to keep saying this because I know I know people are probably tuning in. I didn't get a vote. I wasn't on the panel. The 25 pl uh, pros who got a vote. I've tweeted out a list of all of their names on my Twitter. So go and, go and look over there if you want to see the list of players. I showed it earlier in the stream, but I've, I've deleted the, the graphic. Ooh, okay, I think this one is a very sought-after award. This this might be one of the most, um, yeah, one of the most prestigious. It's best mechanics of the year. Everybody wants to have the best mechanics. I think if you asked any Rocket League player, what would you rather have, mechanics or a big brain? They'd probably say mechanics. And then fail all their classes at school. And they'd be happy about that. Um, but yeah, this, this was another fairly close one. Another fairly close category with... You know, quite a few uh, nominations picking up several votes each. Something that uh, happens a lot more towards the end of the list is more nominations, more close categories. I think the first ones are quite easy. Yeah, the nominations for Best Mechanics of the Year are Alpha 54, AJ, First Killer, Jory is Justin. So two EU players, three NA players nominated more than once. There are your nominations. Joyous has won... Yeah, he did win an award already, so he's looking for his second. He's trying to clean up the award show himself. He won uh, predicted best player of 2022. What do you guys think? Do you think he took it? Do you think, do you think the pros voted for him? Or do you think they went for a first killer? Maybe a Justin? Maybe an AJ? Maybe an Alpha? No, they didn't. Of course. Of course they voted for Jorius. He's the best mechanics of 2021, according to the panel. Jorius with his second award. Just like Ahmad, a two-time 2021 player, uh, Pro Player Choice Awards winner. Um, and he took this one by three votes. It was actually... This, this category is very close until right at the end. 
the final submissions were all Jorias, Jorias, Jorias. So it looked like this one was going to go down to the wire. Well, it did. But yeah, the, the last few submissions swung it in Jorias' favor. And he takes it by uh, a three-vote margin. So I told, I told you guys, you know, if you could choose mechanics or brains, you'd, you'd probably all choose mechanics. But brains would be nice to have as well. You know? I'm sure Bra uh, Rocket League brains would be pretty nice to have. I wouldn't know. But the pros might. The pro player, the, the panel might know who the smartest player of the year was. So we asked them, who was the smartest player of 2021? And just like the previous category, the mechanics, there were five nominations. There were five pros who received more than one vote. Why are people saying Johnny biased to EU? I did not vote. I'm going to keep saying it. I didn't vote. There's a 25 pro player panel. I wasn't on it. There's eight European pros on the panel. Nine or uh, eight North American pros on the panel. Um, so I didn't get a vote. I did choose the panel. Yeah, but I just chose one player from the top eight teams in EU. One player from the top eight teams in NA. And then two players from the top two teams in every uh, other region. Plus one bonus player from South Africa as well. So it was a, it was just one player from all the best teams in the world. That's that's how we did it. I didn't really like pick my friends or anything. I just picked. Two, not that I'm not friends with the the panel. I'm gonna stop talking. Anyway, <laughs> I didn't I I didn't get a vote. Stop blaming me. Uh, <laughs> here's the nominations for smartest player of the year. Apparently Jack, Extra, Monkey Moon, Squishy, and Sipical. Um. Now, there is one, and I'm going to leak this one. There is one caveat here. That is Rettles, who was on the panel here, did in fact break the rules. I told everybody you're not allowed to vote for your teammates or anyone that you've been a team uh, in a team with for 2021. He voted for Sipical, and his reasoning was no one comes close. So I, I'll allow it, but, you know, didn't tell anyone about it. We're, we're, allow we're allowing that one, just one. But yeah, the... Uh, that's because uh, he, he said nobody comes close. He, he literally couldn't think of another player who's anywhere near as smart as Sipical. So that's that's one extra vote there from uh, from Rettel to Sipical, just to let you guys know. Um, however, spoiler, it did not affect the winner of this category. Um, this category was a bit of a two-horse race for the most part. Um, I might tell you guys at the end who the second horse was. But the front runner getting eight nominations, two more than second place, and winning his second award of the 2021 Pro Player Choice Awards is Monkey Moon. He's the smartest player in the world for 2021 uh, and also the best player in the world. So, you know, how do you win best player? You, you become the smartest player. The most mechanical player didn't win player of the year the smartest player did what does that tell you you need to be a, a smart player will that stop people from trying to work on mechanics only and not care about how smart they are not at all of course players are only going to care about mechanics until the end of time and play dominus in my threes games but you you know what a man can dream a man can dream so monkey moon joy is an amad all two time all two time winners at the 2021 pro players choice awards the, I should just call it 2021. Johnny Boy didn't pick the winners awards, <laughs> so people stop saying I'm biased towards EU. The pros all, the pros voted for these. Um, but congratulations, Monkey Moon, smartest player, best player, pretty, pretty impressive. This uh, next one is a little bit less um, to do with the actual results. I don't know if it's going to fit on the screen. It's going to barely fit on the screen. That'll do. It's the most entertaining player of the year. So the player who the panel thought was the most entertaining on the pitch. And this is the, the thing to note with this category is it's not talking about off the pitch. It's not talking about quick chat. It's not talking about um, their personality in interviews. We had an award for that. It was called personality of the year. Um, well, we also had sportsmanship of the year. We had a couple related to that. But this one is to do with on the pitch gameplay only who has the most entertaining gameplay that's what we're asking for in this one um and once again you know it's, it, it seems to be happen quite a lot there's five players who received more than one nomination 
and none of them are surprising. They're all incredibly entertaining and, uh, you know, also a lot of crossover with mechanics. So these are the nominations for the most entertaining gameplay of the year. First killer, Jorius, Justin, Seiko and Azrael. For the second time, actually, we have a tie. For the second time tonight, we have got a joint winner. We had a, a tie-in content creator of the year that was uh, apparently Jack and uh, uh, Arsenal. We also have a tie for most entertaining player of the year. They both took five votes each, um, which I think is actually the lowest amount of votes that was needed to win any of the categories. Oh, I tell a lie. One of the categories was one with um, with three, in fact. So that's pretty crazy. But five, yeah. Five was uh, one of the lower numbers needed to win. But uh, because this was such a spread out category, so many different players were getting votes. Uh, five was actually a win for uh, one player from EU and one player from NA. So throw your EU bias out the window. Get it out of here. We're not EU bias. We're biased towards entertaining gameplay. And the panel voted for Jorius and Justin. Jorius has won three awards, ladies and gentlemen. He's cleaning house. He's taking them all. But Justin gets his first one. Sorry isn't Justin tied for most entertaining player of the year, according to their panel, according to the panel. Congratulations to both of them. This is rigged. It's literally not rigged. <laughs> How could it be rigged? I submitted a Google form. Or, uh, I, I sent a Google form to 25 players. They, they filled it in and I'm telling you the results. <laughs> yeah, these guys, I mean, none of the results look rigged. They all look like very sensible nominations and very sensible winners. But yeah, I was thinking to myself, if we've got an award for most entertaining player of the year, we also need to have an award for most annoying to play against. So, so we've got one. Most annoying player to play against in 2021. What an award that is. <laughs> And uh, I don't know what this tells us about the pro scene. I don't know. I really don't. You guys can make your own. Um, you can make your own judgments based on the fact I'm about to tell you. And that fact is that this award had the most nominations, the most different nominations out of any award. I asked the pros. You know, he's the best player, he's the most mechanical player, he's the fastest player, this, that, best personality, etc, etc. They all like, you know, kind of agree, uh, or you know, there's like a few players getting lots of nominations. In this category, seven players receive two nominations each, and one player wins it with three nominations. But here's your nominations for most annoying player to play against. And they are Alpha 54, Archie, Illusion, Arsenal, Mark by 8, Monkey Moon, Rettles, and O'Callaghan. <laughs> so... Yeah, I don't know what you want to read into that. What, what, uh, you know, what do you, what do you think about the pros thinking that it's really annoying to play against everybody? I don't know, <laughs> but, but these are your nominations. Most annoying to play against. The common thing that I can see here um, from these uh, players, <clears throat> you know, when you talk about most annoying player to play against, is that it's just a, it's just hard to play against them, isn't it? Like they're just difficult to play against. They're like demoing. A lot of these players are quite known for their demos, and a lot of them are known for their uh, for their for their defensive game. You know how how much they shut down big plays. I mean, one of the most annoying things in Rocket League. I didn't you know say this to the panel by the way. This just this, these are just my thoughts. But one of the most annoying things when you're playing Rocket League, and I imagine this does happen at pro level, is when you're about to score a really pog goal. And then the other guy saves it. And a lot of these guys are known for saving pog goals. So that's probably quite annoying. And a lot of them are very uh, aggressive rotators as well. So, CJ, CJ, thanks for tuning in. You won personality of the year, mate. Congratulations. You won personality of the year. But yeah, these are, your play these are your players who are nominated as the most annoying to play against. Like I said, seven of them received two nominations each. And one player stands head and shoulders above the rest as the most annoying to play against with 50% additional nominations compared to the rest of the nominees. Three instead of two. Can any of you guess who it is? Who do you think, what, who do you think wins with three votes and is officially the most annoying player to play against in 2021? 
You're all wrong. It's Arsenal. He's the tied best content creator and the most annoying to play against. He's a two-time winner. He's won twice. <laughs> Arsenal from Space Station Gaming. The most annoying player to play against. And to make this even more impressive, he didn't play in Sweden. So he's, he, he might have even picked up more uh, nominations if they qualified for Sweden. And he annoyed people there as well. But uh, yeah, he was still able to win this, even though he didn't qualify for Sweden. So that really says something about how annoying it is to play against this guy. Uh, and he does win it. <laughs> All right. There, uh, the next category as well was... A category that received lots of different um, nominations, but only five received multiple nominations. And that category is most underrated. A very um, a very spread out category. Most annoying player and most underrated player were both very spread out. And just like most annoying player, the winner of this one wins with three nominations as well. So. Um, I do totally agree with the nomination though it, it, it makes sense and, uh, I do agree with the, with the win just like every other re uh, result I think they all are brilliant nominations and brilliant choices by the panel if, if you ask me so without uh, you know further delay here the nominations for most underrated player of the year the players who received more than one nomination were Dries, Casio, Matane, Percy and Relating Wave yeah they're all definitely underrated I think I think they're all definitely underrated the winner I want to get a little bit of credit here. The winner for most underrated player 2021 was a player who I put in my personal top 15 players of 2021. However, did not he didn't even make it into the top 30 for Sunless Khan's top 20. Uh, well, Sunless Khan made a video recently. A lot of you guys will have seen it. Finding the best player, I think he called it. Um, but the, the whole premise of the video was who... Uh, the best player of the entire year was 2021 and i was on the panel for that along with five others and i put this guy in my top 15 i think i put him 14th overall but when the average uh rankings of everybody got put in uh together and averaged out this guy didn't even make top 30 so the rest of the panel are trolling hard trolling they know who they are i don't know how on earth they rated this guy low l lower than 30 significantly enough that my 14 rate rating of him didn't put him in the top 30 average it's a relating wave and the pros have put him as the most underrated player of the year as well so I, I i you know more than just agree with this i've uh had a recent occurrence where i've rated this guy and my fellow my my uh peers my fellow analysts have underrated him so badly that my my rating of him didn't even it got overpowered but yeah relating wave was voted as the most underrated player of 2021 um and yeah, we've got evidence of this. Recent evidence that people are still underrating this guy. Still underrating. Am I going to make a list of all the winners? I can do. I can. Uh, Max and Reaper, thanks to the 4-month Prime. And also, Jory, thanks to the 10-month Tier 1. And uh, Bacadis, thanks for gifted a sub to CJ for his 6-month in a row. Welcome back, guys. Jory, congratulations on the, on the three... Uh, the three category wins that you've got. Three category wins. Mental. Um, but yeah, relating wave, super underrated player, ridiculous, uh, criminally. I think I, I think he's the most underrated player. So yeah, I, I agree with pretty much every. I think I agree with every single category here. Um, some of them are, you know, subjective, but they're all great. Great choices by the panel. The panel for the Pro Players Choice Awards have completely knocked it out of the park. Unlike the panel for the Sunless Can video, who hard trolled and didn't rate relating wave. Uh, but I want to leave myself exempt from that because I did rate him 14th <laughs> for 2021. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but actually the rest of the votes for Sunless Khan's video were pretty good. I think maybe like the uh, the really, really popular players were a little bit overrated, but the rest of the videos, the, the Sunless Khan video was, uh, well, the video was fantastic. Let me, let me point that out. The Sunless video is amazing, like all of Sunless videos. Um, but yeah, the rest of the rankings done by the panel for that were, were pretty solid. Pretty solid. Um, okay, we've got three more categories. Yeah, I'm not sure... Okay, I'll explain my thought process here because I was giving these some thought uh, on at least how to word them. The first one of these is called best scorer, or sorry, best shooter of the year. I said what I nearly what I nearly named this, but I nearly called this category best scorer of the year. 
But I figured if we call it best scorer of the year, all of the panel are just going to go to Octane. They're going to sort 2021 goals per game and be like, well, it's probably that guy because he scored the most goals. So I made it best shooting of the year instead because then it's more about the actual art of striking uh, rather than who just scored more goals. Because if you call it scorer, then the guy who scored the most goals, surely he wins, right? So we call it best shooting of the year. Um, but yeah, you could also call this category best scorer of the year, um, best goal scorer, you know, any of these, they all, they all, in my opinion, mean the same thing, but so as not to confuse, that is, uh, what we've gone for. And this one received seven no different nominations, seven different players received two or more nominations for this. So a very stacked category again, um, but the winner did end up winning by two votes. So a clear winner. But first of all, here are your nominations for best shooting shooting of the year, best scorer of the year. They are First Killer, Garrett G, JNaps, Jorias, Mark by Eight, Monkey Moon, and Seiko. Not for the first time, we've got multiple BDS players in the same uh, nominated for the same category. It's uh, happened quite a lot. I think a lot of these guys have very good shots. I think they all have very good shots. Uh, but the winner, I think, makes a lot of sense. He was nominated five times. Compared to the other nominees here, they, who received either three or two each. Um, and that's why the winner does end up being JNaps, the best shooter of 2021. He is known for his goal scoring ability, but not just his goal scoring ability, his striking. He's just known for hitting the ball in the top corner. Um, there, that, that's why I wanted to call this category best shooting. If we call it best scorer, everybody's going to be thinking about, you know, things that we've kind of already done in other awards like best mechanics and you know fastest player kind of cover a lot of the other mechanical aspects of the game so shooting you know specifically is won by JNaps. Um, I think you know some people might be thinking well shooter that's you know flip resets kind of shots yes they do but you know uh, we, we kind of already covered that with mechanics so yeah best shooter of the year JNaps makes a lot of sense makes a whole lot of sense Likewise, uh, best passing of the year, similar to, you know, best shooting of the year. I considered naming this category like something like best playmaker of the year. Uh, but the reason I decided not to do that is because I think best playmaker of the year, again, will have a bit too much crossover with other categories we've done like mechanics and most annoying to play against. You know, there, there's definitely going to be a little bit of crossover here when we, when we make it specifically about passing. Um, the results are quite interesting and these are the results these are the nominees that the panel have gone for chicago extra fairy peak garrett g jnaps atomic and mark by eight so uh mark by eight nominated again he's uh picking up a lot of nominations here actually so so is uh so a lot of these guys jnaps garrett they're back chicago's back they're so they're good at shooting and passing according to the panel here Eddie Bioscopium. Well, you know. Yeah, you are right. There's what? Four? Four to three. A lot of NA players getting nominated. It's true. Um, ooh, okay. I, I actually just checked. Yeah, this one was a one vote difference. So this was very, very close. And I think actually the very last vote. Yeah, I can confirm. The last, the final submission from Coyote G1. Coyote G1 was the, the last person to submit his nominations. The last nomination swung it. So sorry, I've spoiled who Coyote voted for here, but uh, hopefully he doesn't mind. And uh, the winner here with five nominations from the panel ahead of the four in second place is Extra. It went right down to the wire. I thought it was going to be another tie. I thought surely it's going to be another draw. But the final submission clinched it for Extra, who, yeah, legendary passing ability. I think he's probably the player who hit the best pass in uh, Sweden as well. That ceiling double pass, ceiling double drop down to Mark has to be the best pass. But yeah, he's known for, he's known for his passing. Um, just uh, in general. It wasn't just that pass uh, that won it for him, I'm sure. Extra. I'm glad that he won. He, he's been nominated for a lot. I'm glad he won 1-1. Uh, won, won. Definitely deserved. 
And that just leaves the final category. Uh, and that is best goalkeeping of the year. I should probably like hide that before I start changing the text so it's a little bit less scuffed. But anyway, there it is. Best goalkeeping of the year. This one. The votes seem to end up on the same players more than the other two categories. The, pl the pro player, the pro player panel, a little bit more, a um, little bit more uh, y united with their votes for this one. And here are the nominations. The players who received two or more nominations are Alpha Fifty Four, apparently Jack, Atomic, Monkey Moon, and Mist. So Atomic and Mist from well, Atomic formerly from Team Envy, but they were both Team Envy for 2021. They've both made it in here. And just like the passing category, this category was decided uh, by one vote as well. So uh, at the end of the, you know, all the awards at the end here were very, very close. Very, very close. And again, just like passing, just like shooting and passing, shooting, passing and goalkeeping were all won by five nominations. Five nominations is what you needed to win these because uh, the other nominations were quite spread out. And that player who received five nominations and wins best goalkeeping of 2021 is from Team Envy, Mist. Not formally from Team Envy. Mist takes it. Um, uh, yeah, this one definitely makes a lot of sense as well. Boo, says Jack, of course. But yeah, that's, that's all the winners, guys. That's all the nominations. That's all the winners. Uh, I think that they all look very, very solid. Like if we can, uh, if we've learned anything from this, I think it's that the pro player panel really know what they're talking about. They really know what they're talking about.